you should have a war tomorrow when you're better rested. I should have you whipped for your impudence. Perhaps you should fight him. Achilles. Achilles. Look at the men's faces. You can save hundreds of them. You can end this war with a swing of your sword. And then go home to their wives. Imagine a king who fights his own battles. Wouldn't that be a sight? Of all the warlords loved by the gods, I hate him the most. this scepter. Give it to your king. He's not my king. Call law, Yahweh Yahushai. Shalom to the house of David, the 144,000 the elect, Church of the Saints, and the one-third men, women, and children that part of the elect. Basically, uh, 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 we're going to do a sit down on it. And it's, uh, real quick, we won't bring out the scriptures because uh, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is rebuilding the tabernacle of David that has fallen. It's in the days of old. We're going to bring out the scriptures on it. And basically, the Lord's going to give us the spiritual power to take down this kingdom, man. That's the times that we're living in. Not to glorify us, to glorify Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's what this is all about, man. Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it, I will destroy it from the face of the earth, and saying that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. For lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is sifted in the sieve. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. So Israel was scattered. James 1 and 1 tells you that Deuteronomy 28. That was a curse we're going to be scattered amongst other nations. So a lot of our people are going to look like other nations, man. That's the wheat and the tears, the parable. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. And that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins and I will build as in the days of old, that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all of the heathen which are called by my name, save the Lord, save the Lord that do of this. So the Lord's going to, that's what that's the times that we're living in now. He's rebuilding back the, rebuilding back up the tabernacle of David that has fallen. You know, because I, I want to get out of here, man. You know, Lord willing, man, we get we part of the elect. You know, I'm tired of seeing my people suffer, man. Every day I see my people suffering. I work where I see my people suffering. Israel's suffering, man. Blacks out here the Americans are suffering. We need our king to get us out of here. The king of kings should help us shot. To restore us and get us the fuck out of here, man. Uh, uh, Matthew 16 and 17. And Yahweh Shai said, and said unto him, Bless art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. That's why we say the church. 
the house of David, the church of the saints. That's scriptural, man. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then charged the, be, he, be, he his disciples what they should not, what they should tell no man that he was Yahweh Shai, that he was Yahweh Shai, Jesus the Christ, which is real name Yahweh Shai. All right, so Peter, that's why Peter's the rock, man. He said he's going to build the church. This is where I'm going to build my church, the rock, Peter. And what he told Peter, he said when he come back, Peter asked him, you know, what are, what are we going to get for everything that we forsook? And he said, you're going to sit on the throne. And Peter asked Yahweh Shai. I'm going to bring it out. Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, the King of Kings. Uh, Matthews 19 and 28. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Now Yahweh Shai hasn't come back yet. And Peter hasn't, he told, he's telling Peter this. This is going to happen right now. We at the time right now, man. And everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or fathers or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that are first shall be last and the last shall be first. So on this thing, you want to be the black sheep. You want to be the guys in the back. You know? Want to be in the guys in the forefront all the time? I mean, the Lord puts you in the front, then that's His will. But the Lord's works like that, man. The little guys, literally the little guy. Look at Mayweather; he's he looks the smallest out of all all his men. You know, he was the smallest out of his, even his brothers, man. Even Jesse was surprised. You know, when he went to anoint the king, he's like, "Who? I got my son here. I got my." He showed his warrior-like sons, tall and big and buff. Intimidating looking mighty warriors. And he said, you have another son. Who else is left? David? David the sheep herder? See? Because David attended to the sheep. Most I know, mo ain't nothing for the most I raised you to be a warrior. The scriptures say the feeble amongst you shall be as David. You see that? You know, my, that's why the scriptures say my thoughts ain't your thoughts, my way ain't your ways, man. We don't know the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. We know in part, we prophesy in part. This is his movie, man. Most I can do whatever the fuck he wants to do. Jeremiah 51. You know what? Uh, I'm going to bring out this scripture. I'm going to bring out this scripture. Jeremiah 50 and 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the form of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Lord of armies. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, for with thee I will break in pieces the nations, and with thee I will destroy kingdoms. And with thee I will break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee I will break in pieces the chariot and his rider. And that's what the house of David was doing. They was breaking shit up. They was breaking shit up, man. Exodus 15 3 said, The Lord is a man of war. The whole world's going to know the personality of God and his son, Yahweh Shai. You wait till Yahweh Shai come back. The man you call Jesus Christ, the lion from the tribe of Judah. You're going to roll like a lion. You're going to tear shit the fuck up, man. And his men down here on earth, too. When he gives that spiritual power and raises us up to glorify our power. Which is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And, and, and with thee I will break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee I will break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. And with thee, with thee I will break in pieces old and young. And with thee I will break in pieces the young man and the maid. And I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. And with thee will I break in pieces husbandmen and his yoke of oxen. And with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. And I will render unto Babylon and unto all inhabitants of Chaldea all the evil they have done in Zion. In your sight, save the Lord. So you devils got a lot to pay for, man. Your bill is due, man. Ezekiel 25 and 12, thus saith the Lord God, Yahweh. Because that Edom have dealt against the, have dealt against the house of Judah, as you Edomites, you red people, by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom. So you Edomites got a problem with Yahweh. Yahweh got a beef with you. And I will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from Teman. And they of Dedan shall fall by the sword. Now check this out. Vengeance is God. Vengeance is God. Yes, vengeance is God's. Yes. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom 
according to mine anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, save the Lord God, Yahweh. So you, <laughs> you're going to know the vengeance of the Lord. You're going to know, you're about to know. You devils, man. You devils got a lot to pay for, man. Psalms 18 and 40. This is King David. The destruction of his enemies. Thou has also given me the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them not. Oh, man, this is bad. This is beautiful, man. They cried. They cried unto the Lord, and the Lord didn't hear them. He said, fuck you. Then, this is David, then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind, and did cast them out as dirt in the streets. You will be broken into pieces, you other nation. We just brought out that scripture. Jeremiah 51. Thou has delivered me from the strivings of the people, and thou has made me the head of the heathen, of people whom I have not known shall serve me. And as soon as they hear me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. <laughs> the strangers shall fade away and be afraid of their close places. It's like Mayweather, man. See how Mayweather, Mayweather will be beating up his opponents and they submit themselves. But it's going to be, this going to be that, but times a thousand. The Lord give us that spiritual powers, man. Oh, it's beautiful times to be alive. Psalms 2 and 8, acts of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession. We're going to possess these heathens, man. Thou shalt break them with the rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's clay. We're going to break them. We're going to have scepters and we're going to break them. See how Mayweather is coming out with his mighty men of the G4 jet? We're going to come out them chariots. With Yahweh Shai leading the way, the king of kings. We're going to have scepters in our hands behind our king. Bashing you other nations in the head. They be wise. Be wise, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. The 144,000. The 12,000 of the east tribe that's going to rule with Yahweh Shai when he comes back. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry. And ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all are all they that put their trust in him. And we put our trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And we know the prophecy. We know what's gonna happen, man. Yeah, close it down a little bit. I'm gonna bring out this last scripture. Yeah, that's the times we're living in, man. This last scripture, I'm gonna close it out. Daniel 7 18. But the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom. And possess the kingdom forever and ever. Even forever and ever. That's the saints, man. That's the saints. We'll bring out this clip. Braveheart. Gonna take the kingdom, man. Drama, man. That's the best part of the movie. Drama. That's the best part of the movie. Action. Action packed. That's what the most Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is coming to do. In the movie, destroy America, raise up his people, beam them up in the ships, change their bodies, come back down, take over the earth. On the Yahweh Shai, the King of Kings.